Welcome to our little video on proportion. Uh, proportion is a mathematical concept in where you, uh, in one in which you compare the part of something to its whole. Proportion is going to come up a lot in our geography class, so we need to make sure you understand. So here's an example. If we are looking at a class of kids, let's say 30 kids, the whole for the class is 30. Does that make sense so far? If not, rewind and think about what I said. So, if you have a whole of 30, and we say that five of those kids are boys, we know that five boys is the part, and 30 kids is the whole. So our proportion is five compared to 30, which can be expressed in two different ways. This is how we find our proportion. Now in math, what we like to do is then simplify this ratio, this proportion. You don't have to do that for our class. All you'll need to know is that our part is 5 and our whole is 30. So now that we looked at proportion, our next step is to look at percentage. Percentage is a very special proportion that we will use throughout the year, and in fact you've already been using in class when you're getting your grades back. And this is the percent, which means per cent, uh, it's coming from Latin meaning part of 100. So part of 100 and we're talking about a proportion what you should be able to figure out from that is the percent of something is the part of 100 when 100 is the whole so whenever we find a percentage of something we literally are always comparing it to the ratio so if we have two out of every four of something so this is our part and there's our whole all we need to do is find the difference between the part and the part which is here and the whole which is 100. So 4 times what is going to make 100? You're right, 25. So if we take 2 times 25, we know we get 50. And so... 2 fourths is equal to 50 one hundredths. We could look at another example with a classroom. If we have a classroom with 10 kids and we know that six of them um, live in Sutton, the other ones must come from somewhere else, what is the percentage of kids that live in Sutton? Well, our ratio is 6 over 10. Our whole for percentage is always going to be 100. We know the jump from 10 to 100 is times 10. So 6 times 10 is what? 60. So our answer is equal to 60%. But Mr. Frazier, you may be asking, what happens when those numbers are harder? Like this question. We have a city of 15,000 people, and inside that city, 9,000 of them are men. And you want me to know what the percentage is of men. And this is going to happen a lot this year as we work throughout geography. Please, uh, First, you must remember that percent means part over 100 and if we're going to do that we are now balancing our proportion the same way as before 9,000 over 15,000 we're balancing it against 100 now you may think it's as easy as as doing the the difference and yes that may work but when we're talking in thousands and billions it is not an easy task so let me show you this tip 
this trick called cross multiplication. Cross multiplication will be your best friend when we do any type of proportion. That is because it's the same three steps, same three steps no matter what. First, we're going to multiply across. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 100 and we're going to multiply it by 9,000. You can feel free to use a calculator for this. So 9,000 times 100. And that's going to equal 90, uh, sorry, 900,000. So now we're going to write 900,000 right here. Next, we divide by the remaining number. So we have that number we got before divided by this number right here, 15,000. And we get 60. Now, step three is we're going to write the answer with the correct units. So our answer is 60 over 100 or 60%. Following these three steps allows for you to do any numbers. So for instance, if we were to find out the percentage of this city, which were men, I'm sorry, which were female, all we would have to do, let me get rid of this here. All we would have to do is figure out first how many are female. The amount of female in the city is, as equal, uh, is equal to 15,000 minus 9,000, which is 6,000. So 6,000 is our part. 15,000 is our whole. We're trying to find the percentage, which is part of 100. And so there's our question mark. How do we find the percentage that are female? When this is our answer. Well, it's as simple as first multiply across 100 times 6,000. And yes, you can use a calculator. You don't have to if it's mental math for you. So you have six, oops, sorry. So you have 600,000 as an answer. Then two, we divide by the remaining number. So 600,000 divided by 15,000. Here's your calculator again. Divide by 15,000. And we have 40, which is our answer. So now we have 40 over 100 or 40%. So as you can see, cross multiplication allows for us to use it with any numbers. We don't have to guess at how big it is or, or how, how, how many units it is to go from here to here. All we have to do is cross uh, multiply across and then divide by the remaining number. It's as simple as that. The most common way we use proportion in geography is actually while mapping. While mapping, if you take a ruler and place it on any scale, you're going to get a measurement or a ratio because a scale shows the map versus reality. And so when you look at it like this, map versus reality, you notice that it's very similar to uh, part versus whole. And because of that, we can actually use um, proportion uh, the same way as we would for percentage. So um, what we have here is if we have a map where the 
scale is one inch um, is equal to 500 miles, um, then what we really have is one inch is 500 miles in reality. When we see that, uh, we can actually figure out uh, from our measurement how far it is in reality depending on what we measure in the map or vice versa. So let's show you that. If I measure four inches, we can actually figure out how many miles that is in reality by using cross multiplication. So remember, our first step is you multiply across. Second step is we divide by the remaining number. All right, so 500 times 4 is 2,000. Divide by the remaining number. So 2,000 divided by 1 is 2,000. And so our distance when we measure 4 inches is equal to 2,000 miles. We could do it another way. So let's show you. What if the numbers are harder? Sorry. What are the what if the numbers are harder? Let's say that their scale is the same. And let's say that we actually measure um, 3.5 inches. We are trying to find what it is in reality. So we're trying to find the miles. We know that our ratio is 1 inch equals 500 miles. And we can use cross multiplication. Here's where it gets nice. 500 times 3.5 is... Seventeen fifty and seventeen fifty divided by the remaining number, which is one, is seventeen fifty miles. So if we measure three point five inches, it's seventeen fifty in reality. Do you see how cross multiplication makes that easier?